professor of philosophy at DePaul University in Chicago and the author of the upcoming book, We Have Overcome, An Immigrant's Letter to the American People. Uh, professor Hill, great to have you with us this evening. Thank you so much. I know this is a, an issue that is so near and dear to your heart, and you really want the president to send in the feds. How would that work? Well, I think that Posse Comitatus has been uh, suspended several times, or it can be suspended. I think that the president could send in the National Guard. I think that the, um, the Navy or the Marines could be sent in. I think on, in 1957, President Eisenhower sent in the, uh, the National Guard to protect um, s school integration. In 1992, President uh, George G. W. Bush um, did it um, to protect the city of Los Angeles uh, on the heels of the verdict of the Rodney King riot. And in 2006, I think President George, George Bush uh, did it to send uh, troops to the uh, Mexican border. So I think the president has several options at his disposal yeah. that he could work very closely with with local government here in Chicago. What about Rahm Emanuel? The mayor is up for re-election in the fall. Gary McCarthy, who used to be the chief of police there, is running against him. And I know that the police have been protesting against the current mayor. Is he part of the problem or part of the solution? I think he's part of the problem. I think we are under the mayoral governance of uh, an impotent governor, uh, I'm sorry, mayor, who's doing absolutely nothing, who's complacent. And I think that sort of complacency is symptomatic of what is going on. I think that we have police who are unable to systemically and systematically fight yeah. this kind of gang warfare. This is unspeakable that in a city we have so many killings and where gangs are ruling turfs. It is uncivilized, it is unspeakable that in, an, in that in, not just in Chicago, in Baltimore, yeah. in St. Louis, but in Detroit. Professor, you know, I, I'm almost out of time, but I got to ask you, when you look at, you know, the NFL issue and kneeling and, you know, police brutality concerns and all of that, do, do you, are you trying to wake up people to what perhaps is a more pressing issue for African Americans in this country? Well, there's a systematic absence of law and order that's running amok in this country, a kind of thuggish ferality that's running amok in this country. And uh, the, the, the rule of the law has got to take form. And Americans have got to wake up and realize that a respect for, for the rule of the law uh, has to be foremost and, uh, in the defense of our great republic. This is the greatest nation on the face of the earth. I'm a great patriot and defender of this country. And we need to start having a conversation um, that I think the far left um, is, is not willing to have. And I, I think that the rule of law and, and, and law and order has got to take precedence. Well, Professor, I, I commend you on this editorial, and I hope you'll come back and talk to us more. Thank you. Thank you very much.